In this video, you'll learn how to extend your image background in Photoshop. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the content aware scale feature in Photoshop. And this feature is particularly useful when you have a vertical portrait image like the one we have today and you want to extend the background to match a horizontal canvas. Let's say you are creating a cover image and you want the background to match the whole canvas. So before I show you how to extend the background, I want you to keep in mind that this feature may not work on a busy background. It will work best when you have a simpler and repeatable background. Okay, before we extend the background, we need to first increase our canvas size. So we're going to click on C to get to the crop tool. And then you're going to hold Alt or Option to extend the canvas vertically. And if your aspect ratio is locked, you can click on the clear button and then you'll be able to extend the canvas freely. Okay, I'm going to accept the changes. And now to extend the background, you're going to go to Edit, then Content to Wear Scale. So if you are in a newer version of Photoshop, you will see that it will start extending the image on both sides. So you need to hold Shift to extend the canvas horizontally and also hold Alt to extend on both sides. So what will happen here is Photoshop will detect the subject and it will only extend the background. So as you can see, we were able to extend the background to match the canvas and the subject is still intact. So this tool worked very well on this image, but in some cases Photoshop may not detect your subject perfectly and it will scale alongside the background. So if that happens to you, let me show you how you can protect the subject from scaling alongside with the background. So in the next example, let's try and extend the background. Let's go to edit and then content to wear scale again. Again, I'm going to hold alt and shift to extend horizontally. And as you can see, Photoshop is doing a pretty good job up until this point. But if I go any further, you will see that it will start affecting the subject, especially on her left hand right here. So if I extend the background any further, now the subject is affected and it's not looking good. So I'm going to undo the last step. So up until this point, the subject is looking good. So I'm going to accept the changes. And now to protect the subject, we need to tell Photoshop what area you need to protect. So I'm going to take the lasso tool and I'm going to make a selection around the subject like so. And then what you need to do is go to channels and then click on this layer mask icon to create a new channel. Now click on Ctrl D to deselect. And as you can see, our new channel is called Alpha 1. Now we can go back to Layers and then go to Content Aware Scale again. And now before we scale the background, we need to tell Photoshop to protect that area, which is the channel that we created before that is called Alpha 1. So select that. And now when you extend the background, you will see that Photoshop is now protecting the subject no matter how much we scale the background. So I'm going to accept the changes. And as you can see, now we have the background matching the whole canvas. You may not stretch your image too much like I did today. As you can see, the effect of the stretching is visible, especially here on the clouds. But this is a great tool to use to quickly extend your background and then you can modify it further. So that's how to use the content aware scale feature in Photoshop. I hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you want to learn how to extend a busier background, let me know that in the comments down below. Other than that, make sure to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on new tutorials. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.